Hello and welcome to another episode of Official Strongman News. First off, big apologies for not posting a video last week. We were incredibly busy, but as I promised, we'll be posting more videos this week to make up for it. And already posted uh, two days ago, I think it was, um, all of the 400 kilos that are on 400 plus kilo deadlifts that are on the website. Um, that's on officialstrongman.com, definitely worth a watch. Um, so that also, for the guys that have been wondering why you didn't have some guys like Pete Rubish, um, Thor, people like that, they just haven't signed up yet. But, um, for example, I know Thor will be this week, and same thing. Anyway, moving on guys. So, two weeks of news to catch up with, and we have plenty to go at. Uh, first things first. Ooh, what to start with? I'm going to start off with Graham Hicks. He's back in training again. Um, been looking quite strong actually, especially he had quite a long period of time off. Uh, last time I spoke to him was at Europe's Strongest Man last year, which was around July 11th. So it's been quite a while. Um, struck with injuries here and there. He's just really been struggling, but come back to training looking very good. Um, and he was such an incredible presser, and as is sort of true to form, he's come back just as, well, not quite as strong, but still incredibly strong. Uh, we've got a video of him doing a 110 kilo dumbbell, uh, like circus dumbbell, just pressing that out, and looks comfortable, especially 110 kilos. Damn good going. While we're on the topic of circus dumbbells, Dimitar Zavitinov threw up a huge, huge 138 kilo monster dumbbell, and he made it look pretty easy. Lockout was a little wobbly, but yeah, he did it. <laughs> 138 kilos, it's crazy. Uh, we saw Thor as well earlier in, I think it was last week, threw up a 129 kilo dumbbell and that went up nice, really nice. There's a few people joking that they'd seen lots of pictures of him posing with it and none of him actually lifting. I don't know if that got back to him or not because he crushed it when he did it. Um, he and both Dimitar as well actually are both in training for Arnold Strongman, the Arnold Strongman competition anyway, that's coming up very, very shortly and both are looking very strong. I mean, no one's going to sort of, well, it couldn't be up to anyone, but I think Dimitar is going to be particularly hard to beat on this dumbbell press. But we'll go through the quick lineup of athletes anyway. So we've got, as we've mentioned, Dimitar Zavatinov, we have Hathor Bjornsson. Uh, Jerry Pritchett, Alexander Liskero, uh, Mikolai Shilakayov, awful, so good. Brian Shaw, Zadrunas Vickers, Lalas making a return. I think this is his first competition back since injury. And I love Lalas. The guy's an absolute monster. He's ginormous and so strong. Um, but he seems to be coming back on form very well, so can't wait to see that. Um, Eddie Hall. He put up a video tonight, actually, um, on Thursday night, Thursday night. He put up a video of him doing on a two-man deadlift bar, so a 14-foot bar, doing a 450-kilo deadlift, which is just crazy. I mean, he has to lift it so, so slowly just to take any of the whip out of the bar, um, because especially with something like that, I mean, it's just outrageous. Um, but he's obviously preparing himself for this competition coming up very shortly um, on the 5th, uh, 5th or 6th of March. And he's obviously prepping for that where they're going to be using an extra long bar so that the bar will bend more. So hopefully we should see some outrageously large numbers because on an obviously standard deadlift bar with powerlifting calibrated plates, bar only bends so much. Won't be the case with this. Um, and the last guy that I don't think I've mentioned that's going to be competing is Matthias Klayowski. Um And this guy is one of my, well, I think he's just one to watch for the future. This guy is incredibly strong. Young Polish guy. Um, I think he's been making some bold, audacious claims uh, about being uh, possibly the strongest man to have ever come from Poland. And that's a bold claim to make, but... I, he could be. In a few years, he really could be. One man that's going to be having a question on that, apart from the obvious um, of Marius, is Radzikowski, who in the last sort of two weeks has just seemed to have become superhuman. Um, first, he put up a 425 kilo deadlift video on a bar with like plates that just don't match. Like It wasn't pretty. It was just picked it up and was like, ah. Um, 
and then a 217 kilo log which takes him to the top of the leaderboard on the official strongman rankings which was again just crazy crazy um, and then what I personally think is the most insane of all of it is he did a 180 kilo strict press you run a pair of like Giants ply, uh, Pro ne 2 plies but which does give you support and it will give you help but like it's not like wearing a squat suit or something it, like for squatting obviously not pressing but it was crazy 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 um, so yeah that's what Rajkovsky has been doing and he did that um, he did a 400 kilo deadlift and a 200 at like an expo and it's possibly the easiest 200 kilo log I've ever seen anyone do. There's a little meme going around, which I'll throw up on here, um, that's possibly one of my favorites of, um, you, what you think you can outpress me? Who are you, um, a Big Z? <laughs> yes, um, a lot of time for that. But yeah, Rajkovsky is on incredible form at the moment. On the topic of crazy deadlifts, it's been one hell of a week for it actually. We had, um, first off, John Clark was, pulled his first ever 400 kilo deadlift, which was huge, great, great effort. Um, thing went up very nicely too, and I think he's got a lot more in him. Um, so obviously anyone breaking that 400 kilo mark is such a huge achievement for them. So he's very happy with that. I think it took him to, was it 12 on the official strongman leaderboard? Which is great effort. Um, what else have we got? Um, oh, tonight, uh, Terry Hollands threw up an incredible lift. Um, a 450, yeah, a 450. A standard bar, um, straps, all that jazz, but no suit. And he looked great with it. Looked really good. He's, um, I think he's after a 460 at World Deadlift Championships later this year. And yeah, I don't doubt it. It looked really comfortable. Um, so many guys pulling these huge numbers it's just a great time to be alive i think is the only way to describe it um so we've got the arnolds but there is more to the arnolds than just um just the men's category and especially just the men's professional category there is the whole spectrum of the amateurs which then the winner of that gets a place next year at the professional scale and of course there's the women's as well first off with the amateur section there's a guy called James Ashley Gerrard who's going to be competing at that and he's from England. Wish him all the best of luck. He actually he competed at the first ever strongman competition I did so very happy to see him go on to that. One of the events there is a, it's a deficit deadlift um, with an axle which just looks absolutely, actually best person to talk about this. Um, the men's amateur and the women's professional and amateur will both be using the, uh, the same events. So here's Donna Moore to take it away and tell you all about it. What are the events the Arnolds? Um, a local reps, frame carry, a sandbag keg medley and a deadlift on the axle for the four inch deficit for the qualifying events. And then what are the weights of that? So what's the log? Um, I tried to convert it down, so I think it's about 84 kilos for reps. Obviously it's rough with it being pounds. Yeah, and... yeah. The frame carries are roughly about 225 kilos. Can you use straps on that? No. 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 Um, the sandbag is 90 and I think the kegs are like 80 and 70-ish. And then the deadlift is 181-ish <laughs> on the axle. Axle deficit Four deadlift. Four deficit, yeah. Mm. And then... So the top four athletes from that then qualify through to the next day? Yes. Two events? Two events, um, Stone of Steel and a Mystery Medley. Can you explain to us what the Stone of Steel is and how it's sort of different to a, just a standard stone? Um, as far as I'm aware, it's a stone made out of steel. It's got sort of like a sandpapery texture on the outside. No tacky allowed at all, just chalk. And it's plate loadable, so they take the top off. You can load it to however heavy it needs to be secure on the inside and then you're away way to go so it's a stone over a yoke so it's rough uh, like a rough exterior on yeah it. as far as i can wear and as how much as i could find on the internet do you think that'll tear, you think that'll tear your arms up or um you're allowed to wear sleeves if you want to but i lift without sleeves yeah. anyway so i think i'll probably just go with what i'm used to stick with what you know yeah um is there any competitors that you're sort of looking out for obviously you're hoping for a sort of hopefully to win it Yes. Anyone else that you think is going to be um, up there? I think everybody's got a good chance of winning. Everybody's qualified to be there. Yeah. I hope it's going to be a nice, tight competition. I 
come across some of the European ladies before, obviously, but nobody um, from America that I've um, seen on the list. I haven't met anybody. So it would be interesting to meet everybody that's new and you know, have a good battle, really. True that. Yeah. And um, it's your second Arnold's, isn't it? Yeah. How did you do last year? Um, last year I came fifth, and I was quite happy with that, really. Mm -hmm. as a big learning curve for me, and a completely different environment. There's nothing here that compares to going there at the moment. Why? What's so different about it? Um, it's just such a like, big scale. It's so quick. You, it's, you finish an event and then all of a sudden it seems to be it's your turn again. Um, and you have to be ready for your event when they say there's four people going at once, you know, four sets of equipment. Just doesn't really happen like that. Yeah. Yeah. Really well organised. Yes, yeah, very well organised, yeah. And so, finishing off, um, we have just one last thing to say. Scotland's strongest man qualifier was at, I want to say, Unit 7 gym um, the, the last weekend, perhaps. Uh, great, great uh, social media on those guys' account. Uh, really good, really well-made videos, the whole lot, um, covering the whole range of the competition. But was won by Tom Stoltman, who's just looking phenomenal at the moment. Uh, another incredibly talented deadlifter. Um, who will, I'm sure, be pulling 400 kilos himself later on this year. But definitely worth a ch check over, go onto their Facebook page. But yeah, he's qualified for Scotland's Strongest Man. He came second there last year to his brother, uh, Luke Stoltman. So he's going to obviously be hoping to push on and hopefully take the crown from him. That's all for this week, guys. We'll be back next week with another video. Um, you can hold me to that one. And as well, we'll be filming this weekend um, a guy called Mark Steele, who's up and coming, looking very, very strong himself. Um, and we'll be filming him, putting together a little training session video with him. So enjoy that. And that's all we have, guys.